guys, this is the Hammond model L100 or L122 if we're being specific. The last two digits only deal with the cabinet style. So just how it looks. Um, I think most everybody that plays keyboard or you know most musical instruments is familiar with the Hammond B3 and the C3. Uh, those two organs, the B3 and the C3, are also the same except for the cabinet style. <clears throat> and uh, then they made a miniature version called the M3, which is uh, again the same as either one, just smaller and you know a smaller cabinet. And uh, they also made a version of the B3 and C3 with internal speakers and reverb called the A100. And uh, same guts as a B3 and C3, but has internal speakers and reverb added. And uh, then they made a version of the M3 with internal speakers and reverb called the M100. So basically, you could look at it. The M3 is a, me th is a mini B3 or C3. The M100 is a mini A100 or a mini B3 or C3 with internal speakers and reverb. Um, this is the L100, which is a variation on the M100. Um, I'm not sure if it came after the M100 or if they're made at the same time. It has a couple things the M100 does not have um, and is missing uh, at least one thing that the M100 does have. So it's just basically another variation on a mini B3 B or C3. It's still uh, tubes and tone wheels just like all the rest of them. It's got the same basic guts. Um, the biggest difference is that the L100 has a self-starting motor that I consider to be an advantage because you can use it as kind of a pitch bend. I don't have enough hands to show you really, but let's see if I can do it. There you go. So, um, can't easily, as easily at least, do that on a uh, organ that's not self-starting. On a custom organ that I made for myself years ago, I put a separate switch for the motor so I could do that uh, during songs and stuff. Um, the biggest thing that's missing is the vibrato scanner. It has chorus vibrato, like the M's and the B's and the C's, um, but it's not derived with a scanner. It's done electronically, and it's not quite the same sound. Um, other than that, it's uh, basically you know, very similar. Um, it is newer, so it has the Mylar capacitors, which are more sought after because they've aged better. The uh, M3s and the older M100s, B3s, and C3s, etc., had wax capacitors that did not age well. The newer ones, there were, there were no M3s with Mylar capacitors or red caps, um, but M100s, B3s, C3s, and A100s, the newer ones of those um, had Mylar capacitors, right? and uh, so does this. So that's a good thing. As I said, it's got reverb. So let's check it out. Um, <laughs> reverb. Lots of reverb. It's a beautiful spring reverb. It's still got the chorus. So it's there, it's just not as lush. I've already got the percussion on because I've got just kind of a standard jazz setting. Do second harmonic instead of third. Different draw bar settings. Where's my Leslie switch? I got it hooked to a Leslie here. Leslie's not included, but you two can hook it to a Leslie or a ventilator or just use the internal speakers. Oops, what did I hit? And uh, I uh, just finished adding the left hand bass to it. As a stock organ, this is what um, the, the lowest it would go. And what you do is we dropped it down an octave, so. And, uh, yeah, that's the gist of it. Some of the other organs that I've sold in the past, I've done a video of me playing, but I don't have a free hand with this camera to uh, play something and uh, hold the camera. Uh, in the past, I've just used my laptop and set it up someplace, but I don't have that with me. So it's in a really nice shape. Um, like I said, I modified, added the left hand base. I uh, replaced some tubes, cleaned some contacts, replaced some keys. 
Um, power cord had already been replaced. Uh, what else did it need? It, it needed a bunch of maintenance, and I did everything that it needed. Um, or at least, you know, everything that I knew of that it needed. So, blew the dust out of the back. Oiled it. So, uh, should be ready to go, I hope. It does have a back. I have the back off uh, right now, but it does have a back to it. Which is another cool thing. A lot of spinet organs uh, don't have backs. Um, well, actually, most of the hams with internal speakers don't have backs. The A100 usually doesn't, and the M3 and M100 usually don't. So that's an advantage if you're going to be putting it on stage or anywhere else where the back of it will show. And uh, I think I covered everything. At least I hope that I did. Oh, it does have the bench. You can see it kind of in the back there with stuff on it because I've been working. Um, but I will take the stuff off of it should you choose to buy the organ. And you can have a stuff-free bench with it. So, uh, hope this video was helpful. Um, if you're interested in the organ, shoot me a text or a phone call or an email. And, uh, thanks for watching.